and Better Movies. Today we're talking about The Hummingbird Project. It's a new film starring Jesse Eisenberg, Alexander Skarsgård, and Salma Hayek. The two men play cousins who once worked for Hayek, but have now set off on their own, hoping to make huge money laying fiber cables from one end of the country to the other. The purpose? To get stock trading information just a tiny bit earlier than everyone else. Take a look at the clip from The Hummingbird Project. Our purpose is to get the stock market quotes in like 16 milliseconds, which is one millisecond faster than everybody else right now. Okay. Then what happens? Roughly $500 million a year. Why didn't you go to Eva Torres? Eva Torres uses human beings like disposable assets. I can make your life hell if I decide to. You want to buy a 12-inch strip off of my property? Under your property. It looks like they're building a fiber line between Cax and the New York Stock Exchange. I know, Jen. I am looking at it. We're gonna do this in less. I already told you we can. Oh, yes, we can. Do you think she's trying to build her own line? Oh, I just made half a million dollars in five seconds. We can't let her beat us. I'm doing everything I can! Tell me your dream, buddy. Country home on a hill, small road, hummingbirds. All right, say it again. Country home on a hill, small road, hummingbirds. I know you can do it. Yeah. Okay. And we are so excited to welcome Selma Hayek to Better Connecticut this afternoon, who plays the very feisty Eva Torres. Welcome. Hi, Kara. <laughs> We're so happy to have you here. So I was reading that she sort of described your character as like the Corella DeVille of Wall Street. Did you enjoy playing that? Oh, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. And you know what? It, it was super cool because it was written originally for a white male. Oh. And they decided to offer it to me. That is fun. That is so, fun. So. Now, the Hummingbird that was Project. So exciting. When you hear Hummingbird, you don't think Wall Street. Can you explain what's the, what's the connection between Hummingbird and Wall Street? A lot of different connections. First of all, funny enough, the hummingbird is my favorite animal. Actually, I have one. I'm wearing one right now ah. because I love hummingbirds. So when I saw the title, I was already very excited. Um, there's a lot of connections in this movie with the hummingbird. The, the speed in which they can move their wings, you know, uh, and move from one place to another and then hover. It, uh, the film is a lot about speed. They, they figure out a technique to make a lot of money by being faster than every, anyone else. I mean, just one millisecond, it, it can make you millions and millions and millions more if you have access to certain information in Wall Street. But um, the movie is not only about that. It's also about stopping and enjoying life and finding what's important about it and the relationships that are important about it. And the hummingbird is also that one bird that can just hover over something and contemplate it. And uh, in the movie, it sounds like it's about technology, but it's really about human nature and how we are obsessed with every time having more and more and faster and faster and faster and how important it is family and loyalty and relationships and it's also about betrayal and it's about passion every single character is like extremely passionate about something and um i love the pro i think it's a very cool film yeah. it's a very cool unusual film and funny I fun I definitely enjoy the clips. And I know I'm it. not good at technology. <laughs> I'm not good at technology. I, I, I would go see it normally, but it's not really about technology. Yeah, no, and I think a lot of people would feel that way. I, I am not either. But you mentioned um, family and what else the movie is about. And I think it's interesting for this film to come to you at this point in your life when you love hummingbirds. You're also a mom of a daughter who's the same age as my daughter. I know our daughters are born the same year, 2007. So is this also interesting to be playing? Yes. Yeah. this role at this time in your life? Yes, because it, for her, her family are these, these super smart people that she recruits, like these geniuses that she recruits. She's so proud to find them and then she supports them and, you know, she 
makes them grow and for her that's her family and I think that I mean I don't know what life would be if you didn't find your family either you were born with it or you find it on your own and sometimes your family it's not even humans your family is animals but it is so important to to have that sensation of family through life and we all find it one way or another and if you haven't please go out there and find one because it makes life so much better I know you love your dogs I hear you don't like to sleep at night without your dogs well I've had to car because my husband doesn't like to sleep at night with the dogs oh no and the dog you know <laughs> okay. okay but I wake up early in the morning and I go and see them and take them on a little walk okay okay uh, well, we w thank you. And so then send my daughter to school. You know the drill. I, I do know the drill. And then drill. go to the set. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got a lot of things going on, which is why you have to do things faster and faster and faster and think of hummingbirds. Thank you so much, Selma. Thank you. We love having her here. And again, the Hummingbird Project is in theaters right now. You can go catch it.